you were betrayed you were rejected right you were broken up with and it crushed you and i'm going to tell you how you're going to turn into you're going to use that to become the best version of you so there are four things you're going to do first you are going to sit in that pain you're going to think about all the things that you thought you and your boyfriend were going to have you're going to think about all the things that you thought you and your best friend were going to do you're going to think about all the things that you thought this person cared about you and how they loved you and all of those things you're going to sit in it for a few days one or two days and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to focus on what the lord says about us on what god says about us what scripture says about who we are and so we're going to start planning according to that god says you're a mother okay start planning what your life will look like as a mother and start becoming that person god says you're a wife cool start planning what your life looks like as a wife start planning what your life looks like as a um content creator businesswoman what does your life look like get a pinterest board out Get Canva out, make the Pinterest board, take the pictures, put it into Canva, make it your screensaver, blow it up, stick it somewhere in your house. You're looking at it every day. Okay? Then, not only that, we are going to actually focus on creating a routine that we can follow. If you want to be the type of person that gets up at 5 a.m., we're not staying up to 2 a.m. anymore. This is going to take some work. So a realistic routine is what we're going to do. I want you journaling. I want you praying. Moving your body. Saying your affirmations. This isn't new things. These aren't new ideas. But this is the only way. You do step one, you sit in it. You do step two, you Pinterest it. You plan it. Step three, get that routine together. And step four, I want you making healthy boundaries. You can't meal prep your food if you're doing something for somebody else. You can't make time for yourself to be asleep if you're on the phone with somebody listening to what their man did to them. You can't pray and you need to set boundaries for yourself too. You can't pray before you go to bed if you're sitting in a bed saying, I'm going to pray in 45 minutes after my show goes off. You set the boundaries. You stick with the boundaries. Pain can be something that drags you down. Rejection, being broken can be something that drags you down into a depression. But it can also be the thing that can catapult you into being the best version of you, into being the person that God intended for you to be. And so, you know, Joseph would never have been able to save his family if he didn't get sold into slavery, if he didn't go to jail, if he, he did nothing wrong. And so maybe you did nothing wrong. Maybe you did do something wrong. Some of y'all be doing something. I be doing stuff wrong. But I need you to do these things. Sit in the pain. Pinterest. Make a vision. Make it plain. Okay? Create a routine. Set them boundaries. Execute the four things. And then we'll move on to the next thing. So I hope this helped praying for you. I've been there. You don't get to be the best version of you without killing this version of you. So much love, peace and blessings.